Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me on another of my wonderful interviews. I've got another interval, interval, interview in the studio here live. Today, my guest is Phil. We've had Phil on the show before, have we not, Phil? You have, Richard. You are a water expert. You've been involved with natural healing. You could say that. For a, a long time. Yes. And you're here today to tell us how we've been drinking and using the wrong kind of water and in fact, you're here to reveal that there's a fifth state of water, which is fascinating. Everyone's yeah. just come to grips with the fact that there's four states. <laughs> and now you're going to add um, more confusion, although actually it's um, revelation, I suppose, to the fifth state. Is that correct? That's correct. Absolutely. Fantastic. So, And we've got um, some shenanigans going on yes. in the studio, a little bit Indeed. of uh, apparatus. You could say that. Which we've got yes, to that's a good word. Help us um, through with what we're going to be talking about today. So, when you came, let's just revise people, and I'll try and find the link and put it in the description of when you came Great. in. Great. Before, because you were you were telling us then that water has amazing properties, and you you we went through a demonstration that you energized this water in some fashion. You were mauling me about, as I remember it, um, and then. What happened after that was uh, you, you, you sort of, I gained strength. You did. Which was a very uh, unusual thing, um, which was very nice. Uh, but it didn't last for long. No. <laughs> I, I went back to being the weakling that I am. Um, but you, you were telling us a lot of interesting properties about water. Well, you're back to sort of reinvigor that, I suppose. Yes, I hope so. Um, and I think it's very, very important that we all realise... Um, that it's the bad habits that are ending up with all these current issues that we have and the hospitals are, are full and all the rest of it. Um, so uh, water, many years ago, I um, was interested very much in water but didn't want to drink the water that we get out of our tap, quite frankly. Um, and so I introduced um what then was still known today, uh, reverse osmosis, which is a system of filtration, um, which removes everything, basically. However, just having said that, we are not meant to get our water, our minerals, uh, from our water. We are meant to get our minerals from our fruits and vegetables, which unfortunately are now not as prevalent as they were 100 years ago. In fact, um, according to Dr. David Thomas, who wrote the um, a paper uh, for which he won an international award measuring the loss in minerals um, in our fruit and vegetables and today um, 100 years uh, compared to 100 years ago uh, I mean it's it's dire uh, we, we need minerals because minerals are cofactors they allow the body to absorb nutrients and 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 work with vitamins um, and if your body is not mineralized, then your body doesn't function properly. So you, you can't look to water to do that, although putting in minerals into your water is an excellent idea. Um, just Would I, to, just, to, just yeah. to interrupt on there, on the, on the vegetables, are you saying yeah. it's, is it specifically the mass-produced vegetables? What, yes. Uh, what about sort of organic veg that people are growing in their gardens and yeah. things like that? Yeah, that's a good question. If you grow it in your garden, uh, you must make sure that the soil is um, conditioned. Right. Uh, you need to add in the nutrients, which, in fact, funny enough, years and years ago, we used to put manure yes. on, on our, our vegetable gardens and, and flowers. Do not people do that now? Uh, not Well, it's not used in uh, uh, mass production uh, right. of food. Um, they use you know, chemicals, and, yes. and, and uh, uh, some of these chemicals are very, very toxic, and they don't go away. They're called forever chemicals. Yes. And of course, nice. all, yeah, and, <laughs> and all these chemicals filter down in, in the soil uh, to the water table, and then uh, you can't get rid of them. And, yeah. and it's a really, really uh, bad problem, quite frankly. So, you know, I, I said to you early on a, a little expression that they use in the computer uh, industry, Garbage in, garbage out. Well, if you put dirty water into your body, mm. you're not going to have a good result. Um, and especially if you've been drinking it like, well, I, I haven't drunk it for years and years and years, but I'm 75. Uh, and, you know, there's a lot of people uh, a bit younger than me and a bit older than me that have been drinking water from the tap for 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years or more. Yes. And, and you're going to end up with a problem. So I started a, a company which is still in existence today, although I don't have anything to do with it, called Freshly Squeezed Water. <laughs> and um, I did that to try and um, educate the public to the importance of putting clean water in your, in your body. Um, and so I used to sit in a warehouse some days with a mountain of filters that would come back for refurbishment. Yes. And I've got to tell you that what I saw in those filters was quite beyond belief because they all came back from all parts of the country, black, horrible, tar. Uh, and because you don't see that mm. in the water... People think that it's it's okay. Yeah, and it looks clean and they yeah, think it is yeah. clean. No, I know. Because I've got a, a distiller. And, yes. and when the waters have come out and you see what's left, yeah. the residue, you think, blimey, that was that was in the water. Yes. Luckily, I didn't drink that bit. No. But um, I would have done if I'd taken it straight out the tap. Yeah. Now, interestingly, you're using a distiller. Right. Right. So distillation is a great way to get pure water. All right. Pure water is nature's most powerful solvent, all right? So if you are drinking, and you're not, I know, obviously, mm. but if you're drinking distilled water, you must add minerals to it. Yes. Uh, in my humble opinion, plant-based minerals are the minerals that you need because the body is familiar with plant-based uh, plant uh, minerals. They, the, when the crops grow, they take the minerals from the soil and they convert them into minerals that are bioavailable and you eat the vegetables and fruit um, and the body naturally recognises that. So th th that's the best way to mineralise your body. It's absolutely key that you must mineralise your body. And so you were sort of diverted from all the labels on the back of a, a, a mineral water bottle saying all these lists of minerals that are on there. But the problem is they are not plant-based minerals they are from rocks basically yes so the absorption into the body is very difficult so you do not get your minerals from your water that is a myth quite honestly and what about things like celtic sea salt because a lot of people are saying celtic right. sea salt or himalayan sea yes. salt which doesn't have quite as many yes um and then i've heard arguments that well celtic sea salt because that's quite fresh yep. might have all the pollutants that the sea has mm. in it and, mm. unless it's farmed very cleanly yeah. whereas the Hi himalayan which is far older because it's mm. you know it's up yeah. in the mountains yeah. it's not as fresh um and um, and but it doesn't have as many minerals no well forgive me uh, richard but i don't think fresh is the right right uh, terminology no it did probably that, <laughs> um, get it fresh it, it, ladies yeah and gentlemen. minerals um last right they, you know. yes um so freshness is n neither here nor there Have, having said that yes i mean putting salt into your water is a good idea. Um, one of the reasons is because uh, we are beings of, we're not beings of water, we're beings of electrolytic soup, all right? It's water that is full of electrolytes. We are electrical beings. Mm. And in order for electricity to flow and uh, to optimize our own body's capabilities, you do need a ratio of potassium and sodium in and outside of the cell. Right. In, in order to, uh, you know, illness is balance, uh, balance in everything. So if you're taking too much of one thing and not enough of the other, you know, it's not balanced. So it's important to understand the importance of balance. And we'll come on to that a, a little later. But what I just like to say, uh, I didn't come to see Richard uh, from a political point of view. No. However, what I would say is this, is that politics is part of the illusion, may I say, that we live in today. And for that reason, I'm going to read you, if I may, uh, something that was written uh, by Dr. Dietrich Klinghart, who's a very well-known doctor. He wrote a paper in 2016. I didn't bring all of that, but I've put together a summary, and I'd just like to read that for you, so bear Bear with me. I'm just going to adjust the mic yeah. a little bit so we get a bit more volume. Okay. There we go. Sorry Thanks. about the noise there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So this is from Dr. Klinghart. He says, is the current electromagnetic environment responsible for chronic illness? Extinction of the entire species, global warming and general madness. Right. 
it has been calculated that 50% of the population today will die with or of degenerative brain disease. Alzheimer's has been shown to be directly related to the exposure to microwaves. Has everybody got a, got a microwave other than the kitchen? Most people have. Yes. Uh, right, exposure uh, to microwave uh, infections in the brain and to, the, uh, and to aluminium and mercury in the central nervous system. All right. I, I had all my um, amalgam fin fillings with mercury and taken out a long, long time ago. And, y you know, every time you drink a hot drink, if you've still got amal amalgam, I'm sorry, I'm digressing, mm. you, you need to get rid of them one way or the other. It's very important. It is dangerous to do that. I mean, we did have a holistic yes. dentist on there and they were saying sometimes, unless it's done absolutely yes. well, you could do more damage taking them out yep. by a, not an incompetent dentist, but one that possibly doesn't do it properly. Yes. And if you haven't had trouble, then maybe, you know, it's, it swings and round. That's yeah. what I was told. Yeah. But, well, no, that's I mean, true. Um, I, I, I have a friend, I haven't seen him for a while now, Dr. Brian Hel Halvers Halverson, I beg your pardon, um, who actually was the first doctor that actually um, developed a system to extract amalgam fillings. Um, the, <laughs> the problem was when he walked into his surgery to do the extraction, he had a big black mask on with pipes coming out this and the other, and of course scared the bejeepers out of the yeah, patients. I'm not surprised. Right. So, um, carrying on from Dr. Yes, Klinghart's do. observations, the health span has been decreased in the last 20 years by 10 years and is expo exponentially shortening. In the last few years, 80% of insects and 75% of songbirds have vanished. Absolutely outrageous. But only in areas with good cell phone coverage, which is now blanketing the Western world. Mm. The number of autistic children increases every five years, and by 2025, 50% of the children born may be diagnosed with a lifelong neurodevelopmental disorder. And by the time they reach the age of four, autism has been linked to both gestational exposure to toxins, infections, pathogens, and electromagnetic radiation. The author of this has detected a gestational microwave exposure in autistic children over 20 times higher than in typical neurotypical children. Uh, uh, well, words, words fail me because this is one of the world's leading experts who is telling us without any shadow of a doubt we have a problem and the problem is our environment that we are now living in we are not now living in a natural environment any longer mm. uh, the problem is we are surrounded by a soup of these electromagnetic frequencies 3g 4g 5g all of it radiation from uh, computers which we're sat in front of everything know, electronic is affecting our body and i'll come on to that and the importance of water in a minute and the, the, the thing is as you I, I mean as you know and um the people who have allowed this to happen mm. to these modern developments to occur, they know this. Yes. This is Absolutely. this is not by accident. It's not like, oh, we woke up one day and went, oh, the modern world's not good for mm. us. This has been allowed to be developed, isn't it? Yes, it has. Do you know, war creates death, injury, and makes some people very, very rich. Oh, yes. Right? Disease is exactly the same. It kills, it maims, it injures, and it makes some people very, very rich. And this system can't carry on like this because people need to understand about their body. They need to, uh, and do forgive me, but you really need to educate yourself and take responsibility for your, for your, for your own health and your, and your family's health and your friend's health, if you can, if they listen to you. Mm. Um, and it's very, very difficult because for so long now, we wait until we get ill. Uh, we go and get our treatment, um, which generally can be, you know, many pharmaceutical drugs, uh, none of which, none, have been uh, tested for the combination of these drugs that you're putting in your body. So if you take a prescription drug and you take out the insert, you will read a list of their called side effects. But I call them effects. Um, some of which end up saying death. You yes, know? I yes. mean, so that's in one uh, insert into the medication box. Hang on a minute. I see people, especially as we get older, that are taking 10, 
12, 15, and nobody can tell them what the combined effect of that is. And it, it, again, you've got to understand what your body needs to stay healthy. Now, just as a disclaimer, which I hate to do, because we're not allowed to make any claims, all right? Right. But it's stupid because um, something that most people may know, vitamin D is a vitamin, acts more like a, a hormone actually, but it's a vitamin that most people who, especially in the Northern Hemisphere, are not getting enough sunshine and their vitamin D levels are either non-existent or very low. And when you look at people with chronic disease conditions or, or, or just ill, you will find that their vitamin D levels are very low or non-existent and vitamin D is in fact responsible for thousands of um, uh, different actions in the body. So it's essential that we keep our vitamin D levels up. Now, um, sunshine, which contains frequencies, and we'll come on to frequencies a little later on, but frequencies, billions of frequencies, most of which I think we don't know anyway, mm. and some we can see and some we can't see, but those frequencies are allowing the body uh, with the cholesterol in your body to produce vitamin C. It's, uh, sunlight is the precursor vitamin to allow D. the box in, uh, vitamin, vitamin D, D. Uh, yeah, yeah, button, yeah. vitamin D, uh, a precursor to allow the body to produce vitamin D. Now, um, that's a claim because it's natural. Right. So it can't it's a say fact. that. It's, it's a, a fact. It's, it's a, a fact. fact. It's a, and everybody knows. It. Not really. No. So, it's so isn't it? with today, what I had planned <laughs> was to see Richard and talk about not only the importance of water, but also other things that you can do to maintain your own health. Yes. And I've decided not to do that because I don't want Richard being taken off air. And he might well get taken off air if I open my big mouth too much. So avoiding that, I'm going to do a few other things which um, are, are of interest, to, hopefully. Uh, we're going to have a bit of fun in a couple of things. And also, um, I'm going to show you what I've done to my own body. All right. I've always used myself for the last 30 years as a guinea pig. And if I wake up in the morning and I'm still alive, then that's a good then sign. Maybe it it's works. Good, yeah, it's a good sign. No, but seriously, yeah. everything that I try to do is scientifically validated and medically validated as well. So um, let me just start by just showing you. And I don't show this to boast or, 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 or you know, I just show this because everybody can do what I did. Mm. And, and it's not too difficult. And it's all based upon keeping toxicity from your body and it's also based upon giving the body the nutrients and the hydration which it needs to optimize its own abilities the um the body can heal itself yes. if you give it the right well, environment it wants, it wants to heal Absolutely. itself doesn't it that's Absolutely. the thing it, that, it's trying to do it and the environment that we live in is the thing that's making it um, suffer Abs absolutely. from keeping yep. us in a in a good healthy state absolutely so what I've done is I'm got the ability <laughs> believe it or not to um, test for brain health all right and so we were going to do a, a, a demonstration of that but because of what I've said um, I thought we better not, but I'll explain. And it is a bit gory taking a brain out onto the table well, and I would have poking worn, it with uh, sticks. Richard, I always wear rubber gloves when oh, I do that. Do you? Yeah, oh, absolutely. well, that makes it a little easier. Right. So, what I have here is the results. Uh, I don't know if you can see this here. Let's see. If you hold it back, I'll just zoom in as All much right. as I okay. can. Oh, wrong way. Okay. All right. So, you can see on that page there my brain health is 100%. Yeah. Now, what I did, and I neg neglected to bring the previous the copy of this, I dehydrated my body for 48 hours. I didn't drink any liquids whatsoever. Uh, I then drank some water, and we talk about the water a little bit later on, um, <clears throat> just a couple of litres, <coughs> and um, after I dehydrated myself. So my uh, test when I, uh, after two days of dehydration, 
my brain health was at 62%. I then drank two litres of my water, and that was the result 100%. How, how? And this, just sorry to interrupt, <coughs> to interrupt you. Yes. What is that a percent of? Right. It's an indication of your brain uh, state of health. All right. It's not a diagnosis of any disease condition. It's right. just to show that your brain is functioning as it should, a, as it should, to a degree of 100 percent. OK, right. which is what, what I had. Yeah. Is that uh, rare that people get to 100 uh, percent? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, because they're not hydrating their bodies properly anymore. Right. And the reason for that, my brain health, when I measured it after my 48 hours of dehydration, was 62%. Yeah. After drinking the water, uh, it then, as you saw, became 100%. So I was trying to demonstrate the importance of hydrating at cellular level. Right. This is key to good health, right? Yeah. And I'll tell you why we're not able to do that any longer. Yeah. So that, that was my, my brain health. And then also, many years ago, I was working on a project to look at, um, how should we say this in non-medical terms, but to look at the stiffness or the flexibility of your arteries. Right. Thomas Sydenham, who was an 18th century physician, said we are as old as our arteries, OK? Yes. And I believe that to be true. So in today's environment and our diets and all the rest of it and our lack of hydration, um, many people are, 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 their arteries are becoming stiffer. And so the cause of that is dietary, hydration levels, and also um, the it's not cholesterol it's generally um a process known as glycation and glycation is the cross-linking of protein molecules within the artery wall but unfortunately it happens all over it happens to your eyes your brain and affects all your body oh, right. so um so it, it's it, it's a real issue so uh that being said here's my internal age which is based upon uh, a clinical database. And what, and what, what sorry, yeah. what, what do you mean by internal age? Right. Your, in, your age that you would be, that your arteries would yes. measure you as. Correct. Right, yes, okay. absolutely. So, uh, without further ado, and mm. again, I'm not trying to boast. Uh, boast, I'm trying to just inform you as to what you can do once you so, know what right. to do. So, okay. just hold, hold, hold that back a bit, because I can't focus it there, but there we go. So your internal age is what, 41? Yeah, 41. Oh, I picked the wrong one out. I'm even younger now, you're 39. Even younger. Oh, but you're 39. Yeah. But even but so, that and, varies. and you said mm. that you were 102, did you say, to begin with? Uh, no, no, 70. No. Uh, well, no, that goes back a long way. My uh, former life, I was in, you'll all swear at me for this, the telecommunications business, and my life was not like it is now. I've been on this journey of natural health and wellness now for 30 years before then, I was in the telecommunications industry, very stressful, uh, drinking lots, uh, not of water, um, staying in hotels, eating food and all the, the rest of it. The kind of the modern, typical corporate modern uh, life exactly. that so many people are doing. Absolutely. I'm very, very pressurised with yes. such an important job that I had uh, as the managing director of one of the world's largest telecommunications companies. Uh, very, very difficult. And that affected my health, quite frankly. Yes. And so my arteries were very stiff and I wanted to know if I was able to do anything about it. And I worked with many professionals, doctors, scientists all over the world. And everybody said, you'll never do it. You'll yeah. never do it. So here I am uh, 20, 20 odd years later where my arteries are the same as somebody, uh, somebody in their 30s, for early 40s. The uh, cardiovascular system is a dynamic organ. It changes every millisecond of the day, depending upon the influences, whether they're internal or external, uh, on your body. And the, because we, we are a dynamic organ ourselves, we react to everything. Right. So the, 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 the measurements would vary uh, throughout the day. But nevertheless, I, I now, um, at the age of 75, uh, are, are walking around with a, a cardiovascular system and arteries that are that of a much younger person. So, so even though they were shattered, mm. let's just say, you can change it. It's not the end. Of, that's not the end story. Although, 
conventional thinking yes. might say that's it you've had it yes but because well, you went and sorted it all out with uh, with water and what yes. we we're going to tell yeah. us a bit today you've you've managed to yeah i, I mean i was reduced ad- it down. I, I, yeah i was advised at that time that i would be able to have a, a bypass right <laughs> and so i mean when what about bypassing what your arteries yes uh, because um you, you know when you get a, a blocked narrow artery yeah. your blood's not flowing properly and then you can get a, you can get a clot yeah. you can, all sorts of things can can, can go wrong because your blood is key yes blood is water Yes. So, so, um, and the body is hydrophilic. It's water loving. Okay. Right. So, um, and in those days, I I never knew about water then. I did yes. a few years after, but uh, I wanted to prove that what I have said is applicable, easy to do. Well, not easy, but I'll come on to that in a minute. Mm. Uh, and that works, and that you can change every aspect of your body if you start to understand how the body works and what the body responds to. Right. And the number one thing is water. And our worst habit, well, globally, yes, is not drinking enough water. Right. right? Because we don't like the taste of it, we haven't got time to do it, we're too busy working, and so gradually we're dehydrating. And as you uh, heard, um, if you dehydrate, your brain doesn't function properly, but also no other organ is optimising its functionality. Okay, but and yet and yet people will say, "Well, I drink lots of tea or coffee mm. or drink, uh, mm. you know, squash or whatever. Yeah. That's got water in mm. it." Yeah. Okay, so um, a lot of these things are a tea and coffee. I'm not saying they're bad for you. I said at the at the start, it, balance is important. Right. And so, okay, you go and have a cup of coffee. But if you have 10 cups of coffee, like some country people do, (laughs) other countries, they drink coffee uh, and it's too much, too much caffeine. Right. And it's kind of exclusively that, but not not topping up with just genuine water. Absolutely. Now, here's the thing. I'm going a bit forward here, but let's just focus on the water a bit because Mm. that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Definitely. Although we're going to do a few a few other things. So. Here's the problem that we have today, and it is a major, major problem. I can't emphasize this too much. What's happening today is that water, um, and you may have heard this before, you may not, you may think I'm crazy, but water has a memory. Yes. And the wh- why does it have a memory? How does it have a memory? And if we look at, um, just digressing a little bit, if we look at light, Light is uh, little packets of photons, which are energetic. Uh, they c- photons contain energy, all right? And that's where we get our energy from. Now, um, if I'd have said 100 years ago that light has the ability to, trans- to, to absorb frequencies in the form of energy and transmit that, you, I, they'd burn me at the stake, right? Yeah. Probably going to do that anyway, but that's another story. Um, so I always thought that water could do it better all right and that's what i wanted to set out and 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 explore uh, and meet many many people from all walks of life uh in in the scientific community that disagreed or agreed with me yeah but i'm going to now tell you what water is and you already know that what i'm going to say is true all right so water has a memory, and it has a memory because water is a three-dimensional crystalline structure which has uh, gaps in it, space in it, and that allows the water to absorb these frequencies and retain those frequencies. Now, how do you already know that? If you haven't, you can Google this, but look at a picture of a snowflake yes. all right, under a microscope. I know it's difficult to do that, but there's lots of pictures you can find on the internet. Each snowflake has a three-dimensional crystalline structure, which you can see. Yes. Uh, And every snowflake, billions and billions and trillions of snowflakes, all have a different structure. It's it's, it's just amazing. All unique. All unique, absolutely. That was the word I was looking for, unique. That's like a fingerprint of a of of a of a water of molecule. A snow, yeah, of a, water of a snowflake. Well, a snowflake. A, a, yeah. a snowflake is a, a number of water molecules that have clustered together. Now, on that, what what do I mean by clustered together? Okay, 
So we've got a water molecule, which is H2O. All right. Now, what happens in nature, water molecules attract each other and they join together to form this cluster size. So you've got a cluster of water molecules and they do that using a hydrogen atom from each water molecule. They bond together. It's a weak hydrogen bonding. And in nature, that's created this structure. OK, and that structure has a frequency which allows the body at cellular level uh, to hydrate. The water passes through in the structure that nature intended uh, through the cell membrane. Mm. So the cell membrane, which is a, a, a phospholipid, is a fatty membrane, has a frequency which allows the water through the, what we call the aquaporins in the cell membrane to hydrate the cell. Right now, dehydration is the root cause of all chronic disease conditions at the end of the day because yeah. once your cells are dehydrated, they can't operate. So, what is happening today? As I said, we live in this unnatural environment, and the electromagnetic frequencies that are generated from all of these man made devices, wherever you may be, are breaking the natural hydrogen bonds. Right. And the cluster size loses its natural frequency and size. So what happens is when it gets to the cell membrane, it is not entering the cell membrane efficiently any longer. Right. Right. When water enters the cell membrane, it turns into what we call the cytoplasm. It's not water anymore. It's a gel. And what that does, it protects the organelles within the cell. It protects the mitochondria, which is the energy production in, in your cell. It protects the nucleus of the cell. So the cell, so we all uh, know, or lots of people think uh, that the mitochondria is solely uh, producing our energy production, which is known as ATP. But it's not. It's actually the completeness of the cell that allows everything to work together in order that the mitochondria can produce our energy. Right. Okay? A lot of people now are, not, are, are feeling tired. They're losing their energy. We are beings of energy. If you've got no energy, you've got no life. So, um, the, so the problem is now is that because the water has absorbed these outside electromagnetic frequencies, um, the water's not uh, structuring... Our, our, our cytoplasm properly and therefore the mitochondria cannot optimize its energy production yes and i just said if you've got no energy you've got no life yes okay yes. so that's the way we're heading here and again i mean just to reiterate this is not by accident either i don't think so not at all no um and uh, don't want to go further no, down no, that route but, because uh, it, it's not it's not good but there is a solution forgive the pun and the solution is this. Let me just see if I can find this here. I hope I've got it. I've got it on the slideshow. Uh, uh, no, one of the one of the slides that I was going to show you, which I can't show you now because no. it's on my slideshow, which I, I brought. But we, as it, for reasons I mentioned earlier, we can't broadcast that. Having said that, I am just finishing an ebook, uh, and in that ebook. Uh, it has um, the information of uh, various aspects of my body, as you've seen some of them now. But one of them is my blood. Right? So I had a live blood test which allows uh, a doctor to look at the blood in real time and determine how good or not so good your blood is. And again, because blood is water, we are absorbing into our blood electromagnetic frequencies, which are causing or can cause a number of issues. One is what we call rouleau, where the, uh, the cells of the, uh, the red blood cells are sticking together and stacking together. Uh, the other is misshapen cells um, and, 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 and so on and so forth. So the, the problem. So the problem is that is being caused by a number of things, one of which I don't go into, uh, but mainly the electromagnetic uh, frequencies. So I think the thing that you're alluding to might be something that people had a medical intervention um, at some point in, that, their, in that, their life. That's probably right, Richard. Yeah, think of mm. um, the results of, uh, well, 2021, really. Yes, absolutely. So 
Um, where do we go from there then? What can we do? Because there is uh, an answer to this. When uh, the water, and I hope if we've got time, you're going to mm. see another little experiment with Richard. Water is able to contain so much energy. Just a little drop will hold so much energy, it's quite unbelievable. So when you are exposing yourself, whether that water is just put onto your body or whether you drink it, and that's the key, you drink it, the energy from the electromagnetic frequencies is lower than the energy that you're go about to put into your body. And what happens is it neutralizes the, elect the effect of the electromagnetic frequencies on your body. Right. And that is absolutely critical because you 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 want to optimize your blood more than anything, your blood flow more than anything yes. else. OK, you so, don't so want anything. Just to, just to recap, if I've got yeah. that, if I've got that right, you're yeah. saying that by um, purposefully energizing the water. Yes. You can mitigate. You know, I'm in a room yes. that's probably not ideal. Yeah. We're being irradiated. Being as we irradiated speak. as we speak. But yeah. uh, in in most people's lives, it's sort of low level, con persistent yes. um, Wi-Fi and potential yep. 5G from the towers yep. And, yep. and all that, and even dirty electricity going Absolutely. around the thing. Um, but the water that, that you, we drink ordinarily doesn't do anything because no. it's just tap water and yeah. it's it's lifeless. Yeah. But by energizing it, and you'll maybe tell us how you do that, yeah. um, we can mitigate all of this stuff. So yes. people can perhaps not have to rely on crystals and chungites yeah. and all those sort of things yeah. and think that's helping. The water is far more powerful. I think Absolutely. that's what you're getting at. Absolutely. Yeah. It, and it is really, really critical that people begin to understand this. Right. Because as I said earlier on, one of the bad habits we have is we don't drink we enough don't drink water it. anyway. Yeah. But now it's even worse because the water we're drinking is not entering our cells uh, at all. Uh, yeah. you know, um, uh, and and it's, it can lead to a lot of problems. So I think... Um, what we should do, actually, is why, mm. why don't we just do a little experiment now, then? Yeah, let's do uh, that. And, uh, and last time, if you remember, Richard, I created a field of energy on yes. the floor. Yes. And you stepped into that field. Oh, yes, that's right. And then stepped out. Yes. And what happened when you were in the field, you became stronger, more balanced, more stable. I was Superman, wasn't you I? You were. And when you, you... Well, you still are, Richard. <laughs> You're doing a wonderful job in... Uh, you know, getting this information yes. out to people, uh, and I can't thank you enough. It's fabulous. So uh, you stepped out of the energy field, um, and you you became Richard Vobes, okay. not Superman. Yes, and then you stepped Superman. in, and you, well, you are yes. a Superman anyway. Thanks. So what I'm going what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to use a very little bit of water here. Right. I was going to do something else, but now you've changed your mind. Uh, okay, I've got a little glass of water here. Yeah. And I'm now going to energize it. All right. I'm going to structure it. Uh, with light um, and just before I do that I'm going to tell you a little story I'll try and keep it as short as I can about sunlight right so when we go out in the sun uh, which there doesn't seem to be much of it around nowadays no um, we absorb energies we then if we're lying down on the beach or the sunbed we, we absorb those energies and we we have a tan mm. right which is which is fine a, a, a nice tan is a healthy sign, all right? What happens when we lay in the sun too long? Well, you get sunburn, presumably. You get sunburn. Yeah, if you yes. get too much sun. Absolutely. Sunstroke. Absolutely. All those sort of things. So sunlight is beneficial, yeah. but dangerous. Yes. Right. Now, um, what happens when we go to sleep in the dark? I know the answer. Good. Because you goodness. told me before. Yes. We regenerate. And exactly. actually darkness is incredibly important to yes, us. Absolutely. And I'll explain why. So the world is two thirds of uh, water oceans. And most of that water cannot see the sunlight. Right. Because it's too deep yes. for the penetration of the frequencies from the sun. So the water towards the surface absorbs the sunlight while the sun is out. But there comes a point where the water has ex been exposed to too much sunlight. And what happens, it starts losing its energy. Yes. All right. So um, how, how, th this is so makes me so excited to know that this has been created for everybody. The water then recognizes that and 
it's it's full of currents and and tides and and uh, vortexes and all of that it's moving it's living and what happens is the water on the surface then goes down while the water below that's in the darkness comes, comes up, up and refreshes itself reinvigorates right. itself so the dark energizes water gets itself up and receives the light and it's constantly moving yes yeah and in the dark yes when it's in those depths yes it's regenerating itself just like the hu- just like life right just like life it's incredible yes so that little thing out of the way <laughs> All right, yep. let's do this so now a lot of people say to me hang on a minute you're going to use a cell phone <laughs> how could you yes um well, I can. To, to, to do what? I'm going to use the light from the torch to impart energy into this, little, in, into this water. And it wouldn't have to be a cell phone. You could use another torch, no, could you? No, it, well, you, you, no. Well, you, no. Why we put it in a cell phone is because everybody's got one. Yeah. And also, we are going to neutralise the effects of the electromagnetic frequencies, as I, I described earlier. Right. Oh, OK. So the fact that everybody's got one means that more people can enjoy yes. the benefits of what I'm about to do. All oh, right? OK. Now, so, um, and what we're going to do, Richard, rather than you stand in a square, yeah. I'm going to actually put this water on your body. OK. Right? Just, a, just four little drops of water. I'm just going to have a bath. Yeah, and, well, we can do that if you like, um, but not on camera. No. Um, so, will we be able to get a picture of you just stood stood up somewhere? If yes, you stand I can up? probably stand up uh, over okay, there. Okay, so if you stand up, and, gonna, are you going to energize the water first? It, or? Well, I can do it now. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do then? We've got a little bit of software in here. Not a little bit. A lot, lot of software in here, and the so- we have captured the specific frequencies, energetic frequencies from light from sunlight. Okay. So, let's just do this. I'm just going to call up this software. Which so just I'm just going to move this apparatus just out of the way so we can see a little bit better what's going on. Right. So you've got so this as an app that you're... Yeah, well, it's, it's more than more a, than a, a yeah, app. It's more than an app. It's, app. A, it's, um, it's, a, it's a charging system that allows the energy to go into the water and then for the water to release that energy. Right. Which there's lots of ways of structuring water. Um, but it won't release that energy in the way that we do. Right, okay. And, and that's why sunlight is and frequencies are so important. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to now switch on the light, and the light, if you can see that... Yeah, it's, it's just in the bottom of the picture yeah, there. Yeah, so just... Okay. And there's a little bit of music playing, which is there very is. nice. There is. That has a frequency to it, which is also being absorbed by the water. So all the frequencies that we use are energetic frequencies or frequencies which are beneficial to the body. So for example, you know, one of the, what's known as the healing frequencies is five to eight hertz. So listening to music with those frequencies in it is very, very important because it changes the body's own natural chemicals that make us relax and enjoy life a bit better. So this takes 40 seconds. Now, this little glass of water is now energized okay and so um it's structured and it's energized so what i'm going to do now is just do one little balance test with richard um for sake of time there are a number of tests we can do but for for today i'm going to do one it's going to beat me up yeah i'm going to ask you to stand there richard okay so uh hopefully you can hear us on the microphone but we've just got to move around a bit and try not to make too much right now Stand facing that wall, Richard, with the picture. Over Hang on, I mustn't oh, yeah. that because it'll make a noise. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do here is to get Richard to put behind his back his fingers interlaced, interlocked. That's it, and make a cup. All right. Stretch your arms out, Richard. Right now, um, I do I do this with a lot of athletes, um, bodybuilders, weightlifters, things like that, and they're big guys, and I'm not a very big guy, and they, th- they say, you're not going to move, move me, mate, look at you, look at me. But anyway, it gets them. So the balance is very easy here. So if I press down, Richard, you resist. See, and it's not difficult. Do, do again? To, okay. I wasn't quite ready for that. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it th- doesn't take too much effort. No. But Richard, yeah. get down to the gym tomorrow, will you? So, right. Anyway, no, he's a strong guy. Okay. <laughs> So, um, I now want you to face me, Richard, please. Yes. All right. Now I'm going to wet him. <laughs> I'm not going to pour this all over him. Mind you, it's tempting, isn't it, with his nice hair, haircut. Right, 
So literally, yeah. I'm just going to put a me, drop. Do you want me to kneel down? Yeah. Okay. That's, oh, not your drops. Okay. Drop on your on your neck. That's Mind it. the cravat. Yeah. Oh yeah. Drop on the chest. That's just a little teeny weeny drop there. Oh. And, and it doesn't need to touch the skin. No. Then. No, no. 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 Because the frequencies will travel through that. Right. Oh. No, Sorry about that. Yeah. Now. What's happened now is instantly the energy in those four drops of water have now, believe it or not, transferred into Richard's body, okay? So, Richard, face that wall again, if you would. Hands behind your back. Link your fingers. Link your fingers. That's it. Right. Now I'm going to use all my weight and, and more to see if I can move him. Right, now. <coughs> right, go on. so. Go on. Go for it, then. No, so. Oh, blimey. I can't move him at all, at all. And that, that is my full weight on him. Now, one of the questions... Yeah, sorry, Richard, I'm pressing quite hard. No, there. no, no, it's all right. Have if I, I hit you I, now... I, I, yes, no, I'll, I'll be on the floor, so um, don't, please don't hit me. No, no. So, um, uh, that, there are all... Um, there's scientific um, evidence to show that what this is, it's not a trick, it's, it's real. Um, and we're doing this live that we didn't have a rehearsal or anything like no, that. Telling and, me. Um, and I put my full weight on there. I don't, and I don't even know if you could feel anything, Richard. No, re I mean, no, I didn't feel. I mean, I felt that you weren't really trying. Yeah. Yes, but I was. But and you I, were. I was. And, and I shall see it on the playback. Yeah. And not only that. Do you want to sit back? Yeah, down I do. And, um, <clears throat> whoops. Um, so, here's an incredible thing which I have a lot of fun with. And that is, um, you, you can actually do this wherever you are in the world. I can shine my light through the camera to somebody's computer in Timbuktu or wherever they live, and they put their glass of water in front of their computer screen, and I will energise that water in 40 seconds. And they can do as many strength, balance and stability tests as you like, it works 100% of the time. It's, it's quite phenomenal. And that led me to the conclusion about the amount of energy that water can uh, hold. And of course, when you look at the construction of a water molecule, hydrogen and oxygen, they are the two of the most powerful reactive uh, gases in the world. Right. You know? And again, oxygen is so important, uh, but like everything else, it's the balance of oxygen uh, that can determine whether it's actually not helpful to your body. Oh, I see. Yeah, because oxidation is caused by uh, oxygen um, that rusts metal, for example. So, again, it's down to balance in, in the body that's so important. Right, so that was that. Um, I, was actually <laughs> I was actually going to use this grip strength meter on Richard before and after because we're Oh, I'm no, you talking so much, can't do, I can't do it now. But yeah, anyway, you've but doused me in the water. Yeah, we've only got ten but, minutes um, right. left. So, okay. Um, so, you, what are you going to do with this light bulb? Yeah. I'm intrigued. Okay. You've yeah. Got this so let's just do here. that. Okay. So I was talking about the importance of minerals in in water. So we will get some water here. Um, do not try this at home. All right. Mixing water with electricity, two hundred and forty volts. It's dangerous. Okay, so don't do it. Don't attempt to do it. I've done it hundreds and hundreds of times. So I, and I, look I what happened to Phil. Yeah, look, look, look at me. Um, so what I'm going to do, I, we talk about the importance of minerals, and minerals are uh, what we known as electrolytes. They allow the electrical activity in our body to flow. Okay, They allow for the neurons in your brain to uh, interact with each other and send their messages across the neural networks. And so... Um, Electrolytes mean the, the, that they uh, conduct electricity. And right. as I said earlier on, we are beings of electricity. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just pop these electrodes into the water. And again, please don't try this because I don't want anybody electrocuted. Now, if I can keep that. Right. So, uh, OK, I'm going to have to hold it, which I don't like doing. But anyway, there we go. Now, the red light's on. So the power is going in. Nothing is happening. Um, now, 
who thinks that water conducts electricity? Most of you will put your hands up and say, yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Pure water does not conduct electricity. It's the um, minerals or the uh, things that are in water that are not so good that allow the electricity to flow. So here's a, uh, a green powder. There's lots of them on the market. And I'm going to see whether that green powder conducts electricity. Oh, and look, and the light bulb. Uh, we'll put a little bit more in. And OK. And so that is showing me. Oh, look at that now. Um, so and I, when you say <laughs> the green powder, I mean, what kind of when you say green powder, what is it? Well, a special the, powder? Or well, is? no, it's, it's a formulation that I put together. And um, it's 35 different fruits, vegetables, enzymes, organic, of course, um, and with minerals. And so uh, because we're not getting our minerals in our fruit and vegetables like we should do, this was a, a supplement that I did um, quite some time ago now. Uh, one of the reasons was because children, gre greens, some greens are very, very powerful uh, and have some great properties. But, uh, of course, I can't show you... Um, I can't make a claim and I can't show you the product, <laughs> but it's it's amazing. And um, I wanted children to uh, drink it because they're not eating their greens, perhaps. And so um, this tastes great without sugar in it. And it's got many, many properties. Now, just quickly, then, as we're running out of time, I'll, I'll switch that off. Yes, I have. I don't want to electrocute Richard. No, thank you very um, much. I appreciate that. Here's a, 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 one of my favorite books. You show it to this camera? Yeah. Sorry, which camera? That, that one there, but yeah, just that, yeah. uh, not too close. That's uh, it. Right. Okay. So it's um, written by Dr. Thomas Cowan. He's an amazing guy who absolutely understands exactly what we're talking about here uh, and the uh, importance of what proper hydration can do for your body. It will help your body optimize its own immunity. And um, uh, it, that, that's so important. Now, another book, I uh, met the author of this book in America many years ago uh, when I was looking at uh, uh, you know, properties of water. His original book is Dr. Batman Gellidge. He wrote Your Body's Many Cries for Water, which changed my life. Um, and this was uh, uh, his second book, I think, uh, which, as you can see, is You're Not uh, Ill, you're, you're Thirsty. Yes, and, you're not sick, you're thirsty. You're not sick, you're thirsty, yeah. So, again, very important book. And my favourite book of all time, which, is, <laughs> which I've read many times, I can hardly pick it up, but it's written by Professor Brian Peskin. And what Brian did was to expose the lies of the fish oil industry and how uh, our bodies are affected by fish oil. Um, you should have a, a balance of omega-6 to omega-3. Now, everybody will say, omega-6? No, that's terrible. It's, it's not good for you. It's not good because foods that have omega-6 in have been processed and destroy the natural qualities uh, of omega-6. But if you look at the physiology of the body, our skin is a thousand to one in favor of omega-6 over omega-3. Omega-3 is important, all right? But how they sold it to us all was to say, omega-3, omega-3, fish oil is the best source. Fish live in cold water. Mm. Right. We put a thousand milligrams of fish oil in our body. Guess what? It heats up and it, every oil that you heat changes its molecular structure. It becomes what we call a trans fat. And that affects the frequency of our cell membranes over time. And then you've got a loss of oxygen. When you lose oxygen 35% more at cellular level, you've got a major major issue and right. dr otto warburg discovered that in the early 1930s and won the nobel prize for it so it's very important oxygenation at the at cellular level is key now i'm going to just show you one more thing here uh, our our friends in our government oh by the way i've just flashed these in front of you there's an independent report on fish oil dangers okay uh here is the, oh and they're trying to fluoridate our water as well i think did i show yeah, you that yeah you showed, showed me that yeah but, uh, showed you that yeah um, and i've had joy warren on recently okay. talking about the so why are they problem. putting a carcinogenic substance in our water supply good question why i, I you know there's there's something going on here 
And I think it's... <laughs> it's definitely to make something going on. Yeah, yeah. Right. And here is uh, a document. This is a safety sheet, uh, safety data sheet, issued by the companies that supply fluoride to the water industry. And I tell you what, it's page after page after page. Put your hazmat suit on, put your gloves on. Your, I, I mean, it's outrageous. Yeah. Why would we put that in there? Right, now I'm rushing to just get something else in if I can yeah so there's another independent report here why fish oil what's that say uh, prevents or uh, fails to prevent or improve cardiovascular disease that one uh, and I've got I've got hundreds of these uh, m moving beyond fish oil and this has a an article warning fish oil contains no true essential fatty acids Physicians may be unknowingly prescribing the wrong substance to patients, causing great harm. Parent so what, are, you, are you saying that people should not take fish oil? It's, it's not a good idea. No, no. E yeah, okay. uh, what you should do is you should have the balance of, uh, um, of omega-6 to omega-3 in their natural state, not, not uh, processed. And right. that's, that's why they demonize uh, um, omega-6, because it's been processed in all the foods. Right. In its natural form... Uh, in exactly the right balance for the body, you can get your essential fatty acids, and they're called essential fatty acids because your body uh, can't produce them uh, itself. It, you have to get it from your diet, and we're not getting that from our diet any longer. So you need to have exactly the right balance, and that's one of the reasons why my uh, cardiovascular system and, and the rest of my body is doing pretty it's doing good. good it's doing good um you mentioned to me that there's a, you wanted to mention about a conference that's happening yes thank um, you so just before we yeah head thank off. you for reminding me yes there's if you um google uh profound um health summit profound health summit which is later this month it's some very good friends of mine who've been uh running these um I'm pointing, oh, sorry, I beg I'm pardon. pointing to that camera oh, so right, that you sorry, can talk yeah, to the right yeah, camera. Sorry, okay. Uh, some friends of mine who've been uh, at the forefront of uh, technology with regard to cutting-edge uh, supplementary te technology, one of which uh, is uh, very exciting. And um, uh, they had this uh, event last year in Luton Who, which is a very nice hotel, uh, on later this month. So if you look... Um, and where on, is that? Luton well, Who? Luton Who is just outside of Luton, would you believe? Oh, right. Fair enough. But, <laughs> but I didn't know because, you no, know, no, there's, there's no. Uh, Plymouth Ho. I suppose ah, Plymouth Ho is outside right. Plymouth. Okay. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so if you can get along to that, absolutely. We've got some, of, or not we, but they have got some of the world's top speakers, scientists, experts in their fields. And um, it's something that uh, is very well worth uh, learning about. Right. And as I said right at the start... What we've all got to do is to take responsibility for our own health. And without the knowledge, you can't do that. So, you know, I, I generally read a book every couple of days, and I have done that for year after year, uh, in order to be able to do what I do. I've spoken at the world's largest uh, medical conferences on all sorts of topics. So... Um, there we are. There was a lot more that we could have done, but we've run out of time, I think, Richard, haven't we? We have, yeah, yeah, unfortunately. But thank you for all you do, Richard. No, don't uh, worry about I it. really, no, it's, he's done a fantastic job, everybody, and uh, and we need to support him as best we can and watch all his videos because they're all very interesting. So but before we go, I mean, people will be asking, you know, you've structured the water there and you've shown us that it's very beneficial to us. Yes. People will be saying, well, how do I do that myself? Yes. Because there's no point you having the secret and no. then telling everybody, I've got the secret of doing the <laughs> eternal life. No. And then people go, well, all very well. You've got a secret of eternal life. What do we do? we just got to watch you get better and better. So, <laughs> Good um, point. Good point. What do so, people do? Can yeah. they, as it exits, it's, it's, can yeah. people get hold of the software to yes. do that? Can yes. they, how, how does they that can. work? Right. So um, what I would suggest is that you email me um, and... Now, if last you time mind, you said you had yeah, a million emails and I you did, weren't able to, I to did, do it. I did, but this time I'm geared up for it oh, all. All right, OK. So I'll be able to respond to everybody's email. Um, if you email phil, P-H-I-L, at F-F-T-B uh, dot life, which is standing for food for the brain, although... Um, the brain is key to life, uh, but that it covers every aspect of, of health. Um, and I've written uh, a book, uh, which is just about to be published. It's in an ebook form. 
It covers all the results that I've attain, obtained myself, all the scientific ref references and medical references, and what I do. So, oh, sorry. So, um, you, because we can't make these claims, I've said, this is me, this is what I do, and, and this is how I do it, and if you'd like to do it, then that's up to you. So I haven't made any claims, can't get into too much trouble, hopefully. Yeah. And, uh, and and there we go. So Well, I will leave the uh, email address in the description just Thank in you. case so people can email Phil and then you can find out all the information. And Thank you. Phil promises to... Uh, get in touch and, and when you were on before you said you were just you didn't expect the response I that you got and no. so you were a bit swamped so, yes. um, I, I was trying just to explain that I was trying to answer every single email yeah but I asked everybody just to send an email saying yes I want to do this test um you know wherever they are yes and unfortunately I ended up with loads and loads Case and loads studies. of yes <laughs> and, that is the problem you know, I, I mean yeah. I do that myself yeah. I'll say put this in the uh, in the subject bar and and people don't listen they they're very excited they want to do whatever they you know want to grab hold of it and and they trying to grab your attention and and it doesn't always work so but anyway that's mm. that's life um, we have run out of time, unfortunately. As I say, I leave the link in the description. Thank you so much, Phil, for coming in, Richard, uh, and dousing me in it's water. It's yeah. uh, it's been an absolute yeah. joy. Well, course. you won't have to have a shower now. No, no clean. Sorry. And how long will this super strength last? Good question. So generally, it depends upon your environmental circumstances, um, and indoors where the focus of electromagnetic frequencies is quite co concentrated. Um, generally between four to six hours, something like that. Outside, it can last several days. So it just depends. But however, all you've got to do is either spray yourself with a little bit of water or drink it every day. And yes. don't glug it all down. You just, uh, what, what I do to make a habit, the first thing I do in the morning mm. with my wife and, and, and family and friends, we get up and the first thing we do, go downstairs, get our water, energize it, 40 seconds, and then drink it. Right. And then do that throughout the day, sipping it throughout the day. Um, and you need probably at least a litre and a half, two litres, something like that. Yeah. Uh, but it's different for everybody. So you're, so when people get in touch with you, they yep. can find out how to do the energizing. Yes, I will send them you, you, all the information. Right, and okay, it's just, so people can do You just that. download it uh, onto your phone, and then you can use it wherever you like. You can use it as many times as you like, on as many people as you like. And also you can use it on your food, uh, on your plants. We haven't got into I've got some slides which show what um, uh, energized water does to pets and does to plants. And you'll see that in, in the book. And it is absolutely incredible. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much. We'd better finish it off there. But it's been an absolute My joy. Thank you so much, thank you. Phil. Thank and you, his Richard. energized water. I will be back with more monologues, of course, and some more wonderful guests. But in the meantime, from Phil and myself, thanks Bye, so everyone. much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.